This is Disaster Risk Preparedness. I'm Kimberly Mactal, giving you some information and knowledge for you to become ready and know what things to do when a disaster or calamity occurs. Volcanic eruptions here in the Philippines are very common. There are so many recorded volcanic eruptions occurred because we're at the ring of fire. This happened when lava and gas are discharged from a volcanic vent. An erupting volcano can blast ash, lava, solid rocks, and gases into the air, creating hazards that can kill people, disturb air travel, and destroy property many miles away. Volcanic eruptions often cause temporary food shortage and volcanic ash landslides called the heart. If you near a known volcano, active or dormant, following these tips will help you keep your loved ones safe. Things to do before a volcanic eruption occurs. 1. Talk about volcanoes with your family so that everyone knows what to do in case of a volcanic eruption. 2. Make sure you have access to radio broadcast for further information. 3. Keep a handy pair of goggles and dust masks for each member of your household in case of ashfall. 4. Make a list of items to bring inside the event of ashfall. Things to do during a volcanic eruption if you're indoors. Number one, listen to a local station on radio or television for updated emergency information and instruction. Two, follow any evacuation orders issued by authorities and put your emergency plan into actions. Three, close all windows, doors, and dumpers to keep volcanic ash from entering if you're outdoors. One, Seek shelter indoors if possible. 2. Stay out of designated restricted zones. 3. Stay in areas where you will not be further exposed to volcanic eruption hazards. If you are caught in ashfall. 1. Wear a dust mask to protect against lung irritation from small particles. 2. Protect your eyes by wearing eyeglasses or goggles. 3. Keep as much as your skin covered as possible. Things to do after the eruption. Number one, let friends and family know you're safe. Number two, if evacuated, return only when authorities say it's safe to do so. Number three, continue listening to local news for update information and instructions. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. I hope this video will help you to become prepared when a volcanic eruption occurs and keep your loved ones safe from any risk or danger. Again, this is Kimberly Mactal, 11th STEM.